Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our last listening session of the month of May. We want to thank uh, Pastor Karen Hernandez Branson for um, her hosting our uh, list three listening sessions and for really working with us at uh, Clean Water Action and the Delaware River Keeper Network to make sure that we are hearing the voices in the communities in the Trenton and Mercer County vicinity. Um, for those of you that may or may not know me, my name is Aubrey Molinetto. I am the Water Justice Organizer for the Clean Water Action, and I am partnered here tonight and uh, for the duration of our grant with Fred Stein, who has become my brother in this uh, social justice environmental fight. Um, to try to keep our communities clean, in particular the Assapink Creek. We have a grant that has been funded by the William Penn Foundation. And uh, we have so far have put together programming through webinars, building a toolkit. And I'm going to pass it over to Fred. Um, and Fred will give us a brief overview of the upstream downstream programming that we've been doing. Fred. Thank you. Thank you, Aubrey. And welcome, everyone. Um, uh, as Aubrey said, my name is Fred Stein. I'm uh, the community organizer with the Delaware Riverkeeper Network. I've been with Riverkeeper for about 25 or 26 years. I started as a volunteer and um, was able to, to um, get hired a, as a community organizer. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. And what over the, that span, that career of working in the environmental field, uh, what and what's maybe evident to a lot of people on the line is that uh, some of the environmental issues that we're struggling with throughout the, the the globe and in the United States and in New Jersey and and Trenton, they don't respect government lines. A lot of the a lot of the issues that we deal with, with like flooding and water pollution and air pollution, go you know are watershed wide or regional wide. And so the upstream and downstream project that we're working on is focusing on the Assin Pink Creek watershed, which as, as you know, uh, ends up in Trenton, but it starts out in West Windsor and in other communities way out in the more in the rural parts of New Jersey. But what, what we do out in those rural parts have an impact on the city of Trenton and the city and the town of Hamilton Township and Ewing and Lawrence, all of those municipalities, what we do on the land has the can have a positive or a negative impact. And so our effort, what we call the upstream downstream is to bring the communities from throughout the Assin Pink Creek watershed um, and bring them together. So the residents of Trenton uh, can learn the what what are some of the positive things that are happening out in West Windsor and other communities out in the headwaters area and the residents from West Windsor can find out uh, the positive and, and innovative things that are happening in the city of Trenton uh, that are making all of our parts of the world, all of our environment just a little bit better. Um, but we're providing in the toolkit that Aubrey says, and I'll make this is my final point, the toolkit that Aubrey says it, uh, mentioned is um, tools that each of us can use as, a as an advocate uh, for um, our community and our families. Um, and, and how can we take, be a more active and loud voice for the protection of the not only the Aspen Pink Creek but the the neighborhood that you live in or the city that you live in, and so we we taught residents how to gather um, government information through an Oprah request. We helped. Uh, we did another um, another webinar on how to use uh, DEP. Uh, data miner, which gives information, background information on permit applications and brownfield sites and things like that. We did another uh, webinar on uh, GIS mapping. How can each of us go to the DEP website and download and create a map and get information that's available to anybody in the public? Uh, but it's not just something you can go to uh, unless you're given a little bit of a tutorial, and that's some of the some of the 
um, tools that we provided and all of these will are were recorded and will be shared with each and every one of anyone who signed up for these listening sessions we're working on getting the links up and running now so um, uh, I'll, I'll conclude there thanks Aubrey you're muted Thank you. <laughs> With that under understanding, these listening sessions are very important. We want to know what's being, uh, what's going on in our communities, uh, especially our communities of color, right? Oftentimes, and I have said this time and time again, oftentimes our black and brown communities are not given the information that is necessary. Meaning our Latinos, our African-American communities, a lot of us are not getting the information that uh, of what's happening in our communities. And if, we, if the information is being spread out, a lot of times it's the same people that are attending the same meetings, the same informational sessions. Um, and the word is not really being passed along and going through the communities. Um, as often as it should and it needs to so that we can get um, all of our community and our residents involved with what's going on around us. Tonight was um, very, very important because we were opening up the dialogue with our Latinx community. And so with that, I'm gonna pass it over to Pastor Karen Hernandez, who has um, some information about the apostolic um, church that we had invited. Um, I always like to keep the community informed because we are one familia in the Trenton, greater Trenton area. And um, when Aubrey and Fred made a commitment to reach out to the Latine, Latinx community, and um, asked me to recruit Francis Roy to be the translator. Um, I was eager to do that. And Pastor Montero was eager to mobilize his members at the Apostolic Church. Unfortunately, he suffered a stroke. And, um, and so he is re was in ICU, just got, of, got out of ICU and is in recovery. So that critical mass of Spanish speaking um, members of our community um, are not with us tonight, um, but they're with us in spirit. So uh, let's not give up on uh, making sure that we find an another occasion when we can bring them together. I thank you, Pastor Karen. And with that being said, I would really like to open up more dialogue and see if we can do this on a grander scale and just dedicate a lot of our sessions and, and restart these listening sessions up with the main focus in the Latin, um, Latin A, Latinx community. Um, what are some of our thoughts about what's happening in our communities as it stands right now, right? We talk about the Assapink Creek, but everything that, as Fred said before, affects our, our environment, right? So whatever we do on our land, it affects our waterways, it affects the air, it affects everything around us environmentally, right? And it also affects our mental health. And so I'm opening up this discussion with everyone that's on the, that's in attendance right now to find out what are some of your thoughts. Now, I have asked in, in the chat if everyone could please put your email address there because at the end of, um, now that we've concluded our sessions, we're gonna go through the process of um, getting everyone their gift certificate. So it's gonna take a moment, but we're definitely gonna be working on that after this final listening session um, for this group. Um, put your, not only your emails, but if you uh, have any questions or comments, please put them in the chat as well, or you can put them in the Q and A. Um, I was hoping that folks would uh, be on the camera, but that's fine as well. We can hear you if you speak up. So I like to hear from the community. What's going on in your community that you are that you have concerns about? and Fred and I and Pastor Karen are listening.
Okay. Someone said in trying. Okay, let okay. me unmute. Uh, I noticed that we do have, mm -hmm. um, I, I wanna say this, I wanna thank Laura Mora. Um, some of you know who she is. She works for LALDEF, Latin American Legal Defense and Education Fund. Um, she's a community organizer. Yeah. And so with her help, I I was looking at who's here and it looks like um, some of the Latina, Latinx community that she invited are present. So we okay. are gonna need Francis to translate. Okay, thank you very much for that, Asa Karen. Um, okay, someone had their hand raised. Judy Winkler. Oh, Judy Wink. Yep. Thank you, Judy. Um, I, go ahead. Okay. I apologize for um, not being visible. I don't know what went wrong, but Thank I don't you. have the option on my screen at the bottom, um, you know, for that today. Uh, we have some yes. Zoom meeting earlier today. Um, you know, that's standard, and I always say, you know, video. Uh, but as I said, you know, it's not an option. But I going think maybe to... it's because, I'm sorry, Judy, I think maybe it's because um, we are in webinar and not meeting. So what I'm okay. doing is I'm promoting everyone to be a panelist. I'm not asking you to operate in a panelist, but just join on so that maybe we can see your um, camera. And again, I do apologize. Um, please let me know if this is working for you or not. Um, I think people are trying to I, You broke up and I didn't hear uh, what you had to say. Oh, I apologize. Um, I'm promoting everyone to panelists. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think it's working. Um, mm -hmm. What if I can express a couple of concerns that I have on, on the Aspen Pink Creek itself. Um, I live um, half a block from the Aspen Pink Creek. Um, I also walk by it um, every day. Uh, what I'm concerned about is what's happening um, in the surrounding suburbs and how that's impacting uh, the Aspen Pink Creek negatively. You know, Trenton is like, the last stop for the Aspen Pink Creek. So we get all the pollutants uh, that are being done um, in the suburbs and they're pretty strong. Um, I was canoeing, I canoed a, a good chunk of the Aspen Pink um, year before last. And what I noticed is once I hit farmland, I'm sorry, can you not hear me? I can hear you, but um, I'm going to ask that everybody sorry. put themselves, please. Yeah. Judy? So once okay. I was, you know, I was canoeing the ass in pink, and once I hit farmland, uh, this was in the middle of the summer, like July, um, you know, the, the whole Aspen Pink was bright green with blooms, you know, as a result of the runoff from the farms, you know, of uh, whether it was, you know, from, from animal waste or whether it was some kind of fertilizer or uh, whatever, but the creek was bright green with algae um, all the way across. And, you know, that existed for a while. Um, I also have concerns because, you know, I, I am not sure, and maybe this is my lack of in current information, uh, but the Ewing Lawrence Sewerage Authority is located along the Aspen Pink and for years, you know, was dumping uh, when they got an excess um, into the creek. I understand, you know, that that's not quite as common now, but my question is, has that been discontinued completely? Uh, I'm sorry. Because that's the water we get here. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm jumping in. Um, I've been having problems with my connection. Um, I appreciate our goal today was to have 
translation. Mm -hmm. And um, we absolutely have Hispanics, Latine people that mm -hmm. have joined us. And we've said a lot and Francis hasn't translated. And if I were her, I'd have a hard time remembering everything that's been said. So Francis, just do the best you can, but let's all, let's all be a, a community that's trying to be hospitable to those who don't speak English. We really need to pause so that there can be translation. Thank you, Pastor Karen. So Judy, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Francis, do you need her to repeat any part I of it? I took some notes in between okay. <laughs> just to make okay, sure. Um, lo que Judy está preocupada es por la erachola de Asapink, porque mm -hmm. ella dice que vive al lado de el riacholo y a veces cuando ella sale en la canoa, la agua está verde. Hay algunos sitios que están que estaban dejando las cosas o botando las cosas dentro del agua y ella quería saber si todavía eso estaba pasando. Pero ella dice que a veces ella anda o está en la canoa y la agua está verde. Ella no sabe exactamente lo que es. Go ahead. Okay, thank you, Francis. That was that was brilliant. <laughs> um, so. What Francis uh, translated was what um, Judy's concerns were. Judy, we are going to look into that. Um, there were some other concerns about Trenton Waterworks. And so after these listening sessions, Pastor Karen, myself, Fred, and um, Kendra McCoy, who is working with the, alongside us with um, the Watershed Institute, will be formatting a letter to find out some more information. Lo que ella dijo es que ella va, no hoy, pero van a sentarse y hablar para buscar más información y le van a hacer una carta a Trenton Waterworks para ver exactamente lo que está pasando. And just as a disclaimer, we are um, working with our city. We, we're, the, the goal of our uh, information sessions and even our um, webinars educating our residents is not to be the middleman, but to help bridge the resident with the city so that they can get the information that they need. Okay, um, give me one second, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lo que ella está diciendo que ella está trabajando con la comunidad y con la ciudad para ver exactamente lo que se puede hacer, especialmente porque están preocupados por las comunidades. Uh, gracias, Francis. Thank you, Francis. <laughs> There was a question in the chat, and I'd like to go to that. Um, Laura says, in Trenton, it's a lot of misinformation. It's not law enforcement, but the community doesn't speak the language. Francis. Ok. Um, Laura puso una pregunta, dice en Trenton hay mucha información que no se sabe si es verdad de información y muchas de las leyes no están empujando muchas de las leyes, especialmente en las comunidades que no hablan el mismo lenguaje. Go ahead. Ok, thank you. Oh, we, could, we ask, could we ask Laura to, to give... Uh, I was, just, I was going to ask her to expand on that. Thanks, Fred. Um, and then I had, oh, and Laura's right here. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi. Um, okay. Hi, how are you? Um, I live and work in, La, in Trenton, and that is Trenton. And my concern in many years, uh, including with uh, Costa Rican Association that is disappeared already, uh, Guatemalan Association uh, and other people from the community, we were very worried how the increase of gar garbage around the city, the pollution and uh, environmental is not healthy for the children and families. Uh, I said, Laura, dame un segundito. <laughs> okay. Lo que ella está diciendo es que ella trabaja en Trenton hace mucho, muchos años 
y la preocupación de ella es especialmente por la comunidad porque tiene mucha basura y mucha contaminación en la comunidad y que no es bueno para la familia, especialmente para los niños. Uh, I've been working with different organizations and associations and people that are leaders in the community, but uh, we felt Ella, ella está diciendo que trabaja con muchas organizaciones en la comunidad y muchos líderes y ella siente que lo que ellos estaban tratando de hacer no trabajó. That's why I stopped um, like uh, four or five years ago. I, I stopped to uh, fight for the a better environmental in Trenton. Even I'm being always very concerned about the dump of garbage or other material disposables. And uh, my, my concern exactly is, is no law enforcement. And, and what the city has to do is going outreach people, going door by door, not send emails, not send um, letters. We need another kind that uh, another way to pursue people to um, put people to think how important it is to have the city clean. Lo que ella está diciendo es que ella dejó de participar en muchos de los programas y las organizaciones hace como unos cuatro o cinco años porque ella se siente que no la escuchan y las cosas que están peleando por lo que está peleando, no está, no está, no se está haciendo nada. So, lo, que, lo que le preocupa a ella es sobre la basura en la comunidad, la contaminación en la comunidad. Ella dice que la ciudad debe no mandar um, correo electrónico, pero por lo menos ir puerta a puerta y hablar con la comunidad para que ellos sepan exactamente lo que está pasando en la comunidad y para que le puedan dar la información que es necesaria. We have garbage in front of houses, in alleys, everywhere, and no conscience, everywhere. If you visit alleys in Trenton, is amounts of garbage that the owner of the house or the tenant, the landlord or the tenant do not care. And it happened everywhere in the whole city. Uh, ella está diciendo que hay muchas basuras enfrente de las casas, al lado de las casas y no se está haciendo nada y la basura sigue creciendo y, más, y hay más y más basura en la comunidad y muchas de las personas que son dueños de las casas no están haciendo nada sobre la basura. The city, in the city we have mice, we have rats, we have roaches. It's amazing how many people are um, talking about this uh, kind of contamination and plus other issues. Um, Un segundito. Uh -huh. Lo que ella está diciendo, la preocupación taba, también es que hay ratones, hay ratas, hay cucarachas, hay insectos y muchas personas están viviendo con estas cosas en sus casas. It's, uh, can I can I interject real quick? I'm sorry. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> I hear I hear a lot of things here. I hear that the community is discouraged because they don't see change, right? Uh -huh. I also hear that the informa the information, whatever is being put out, may not be may not be put out in a way that's understood by the communities that are represented there. Am I correct? Right, correct. Okay. Lo que ella le está diciendo a Laura es que la información que Laura está dando, ella ve o ella está oyendo que la comunidad ya está desan desanimada con todo lo que está pasando, especialmente cuando ellos no están haciendo nada por, por arreglar los problemas en la comunidad. Thank you, Francis. Now, now, Laura, you said you worked with other organizations. 
at one point. Yes? Yeah, for many years. I work okay. with the Costa Rican Association and Guatemalan Association groups and other people that really want uh, Trenton clean, okay. better, better environment. Thank you. Ella dice que ella es parte de muchas organizaciones, la organización para los costarricenses y los guatemaltecos, y lo que ellos están peleando es para que la ciudad sea se limpia la ciudad y que se quede limpia. Thank you, Francis. Now, this is what I'm going to uh, suggest, suggest. Pastor Karen, um, can you work with us to get these groups together so that we can do webinars that will help the Latino community strengthen their voice in advocacy, how to community organize, how to uh, get the information that they need from the, uh, the city, the county, or the state, whatever their, their needs are. Lo que ella le está pidiendo a Karen es para ver si podemos hacer una reunión con las diferentes organizaciones para, para asistir con muchos de los problemas que ellos se sienten que no están oyendo las cosas que le están diciendo a la ciudad o a la, para las cosas que está pasando dentro la, de la comunidad. So ella quiere por lo menos tratar de tener una reunión con ellos para que se sientan parte de la comunidad, para que puedan oír todo lo que las preocupaciones de ellos. Thank you, Francis. Casa Karen. Uh, I definitely uh, would be committed to helping. Uh, I I would hope that once again, Laura Mora uh, would help me organize something like that uh, because she's she helps me mobilize the Latin A Hispanic community. Um, so I think webinars um, are, are helpful for some people, many people, mm -hmm. uh, because it's accessible, you can do it from home. Uh, today, I'm so excited that we got 37 people. This is the oh. biggest turnout we had. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't have happened if we didn't reach out to people like Laura and others Thank that you, help Laura. us bring yeah. the community together. So, um, you know, like we Hispanic, Latin, yo, yo quiero decir en español que yo estoy comprometida totalmente para ayudar a Aubrey, a Fred, Con la ayuda de mi querida amiga este, Laura uh, para tener otra reunión con todos los diferentes grupo, grupos representados y para que en sí tengamos el pueblo latino representado y envuelto para bregar con las situaciones. Gracias, pastora. Um, so, I think. And, and Fred brought up a really good point. Um, it could be illegal dumping. This is what we would like to know. Or it could be the blowing of the residential garbage, right? So part of our education would be geared to uh, not only just finding out how to get the information from the city, but also how to do best practices of keeping our property clean. Lo que ella está diciendo es que ella quiere saber exactamente de dónde está saliendo la basura, qué se puede hacer con la basura y lo que podemos hacer para, para, para dejar la comunidad limpia, especialmente las personas que viven en, en las casas, lo que ellos tienen que hacer para sacar la basura y que se quede limpio. Gracias. Um, I noticed, can I notice, say that I noticed that Judy Winkler had her hand up for quite a while and, and she put it down. Can we make sure that if she has a question, we can hear it? Absolutely. Judy? Um, actually, I, I heard that. Um, I forgot to uh, push the, the icon to put my okay. hand down after I spoke. <laughs> so sorry. It's, a, it's okay. all right. <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, Francis. And your Spanish is so much better than mine because <laughs> I would have uh, not done such an excellent job. So I want to thank you again thank for your you. services and participating with us. Um, does anyone else have any concerns? Francis? Alguna, alguna otra persona tiene una preocupación o algo que decir? Laura's hand is up again. Okay, Laura, where are you, dear? No, I didn't. I put it, I lower. No, it's, no, up it's still up. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Ahora, ahora se bajó. <laughs> oh, okay, I see a difference. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. okay. No, my, my really concern is children and families and, and um, I see so much. I, I've been seeing so much and I spoke with Karen yesterday about uh, just a little piece of the part of the our situation in Trenton and I think it, it's now or never because uh, we have to to rush. Is is this is something that never we never saw it before, and we have newcomers, new people that we have to educate. We have um, families that uh, need a hand if it's possible, but. We need to educate our people. We need to enforce the law and we need the city uh, to get out and please help others to understand how important is the environmental law of our city. La, lo que está diciendo Laura es que la preocupación más grande de ella es más por lo, la familia, especialmente los niños. Ella ve mucho lo que está pasando en la comunidad y ella siente que la ciudad necesita hacer algo, especialmente las personas que son parte de la comunidad, para si no tener la información. I'm sorry, my dog decided to bark right now. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys know that's all you hear. Um, ella quiere que la ciudad sea parte de esto, especialmente dar la información y para poder arreglar el problema. Y si no se hace, es ahora o nunca con todo lo que está pasando. Thank you, Francis. I, I would like to hear from the rest of our uh, participants um, this evening. Does what Laura say echo your sentiments or do you have other concerns? Uh, we're listening. I have to say my father has been a lifelong um, Trenton resident and there's an alleyway on the side of his house and I can't tell you how many times we've reached out to congressmen to we've gone to city hall we've spoken to previous mayors and it has become a complete dumping ground my father is partially handicapped so for him to clean a lot of it it becomes difficult and he's also older mm -hmm. so it also has become his responsibility because now all the trash that is in the alleyway or they put it against his garage he can't open the garage and water gets in rats get in, mice get in, it's, it has become very difficult. Lo que le estaba diciendo a ella es que mi papá ha vivido toda su, casi toda su vida en Trenton y donde él vive le pone mucha basura, especialmente sobre el garaje. Mi papá tiene un impedimento y se le hace difícil limpiar y hacer todo lo que tiene que hacer porque le dejan toda la basura. Uh, um... Aubrey, if I could add, you you really struck the, just to reemphasize your point about the, there are best management practices mm -hmm. for keep, you know, city, you know, like trying to keep trash off of the streets and it's not perfect, but there, you know, maybe it's cameras, um, you know, cameras in, in certain areas. Maybe we talked about this at the, um, at last weekend's um, Trenton Communities Days, where the kids were picking up trash in uh, uh, George Page Park. There's a program in New Jersey called Clean Communities, mm 
I'm going to ask that you pause one second so Francis could. Okay. Translate. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm having issues with my computer. One second. Okay, thank you, Francis. All right, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? My computer froze and I couldn't hear anything. Sure. Some, <laughs> so we were just touching base on some possible, you know, uh, on what some possible solutions might be. And one of them is, um, uh, cameras, you know, and, and these are things that a letter that we can, uh, that, that we can, um, you know, a, our effort to help give the, the residents that are on the, on the call now a, a louder voice. It's like the other communities in other cities, they have cameras uh, that are up there that show in hot spots where illegal dumping happens on a regular basis. They can catch them and people can, residents can go out and in, in Philadelphia, we, we do work in Philadelphia where we actually go and look and, and we not only pick up, you know, work to pick up the garbage, but we look for addresses that might take us back to where the, uh, the, the trash came from. But there's no, also- Hold on one second. <laughs> you gotta get that moment. Es que, um, <laughs> Lo que está pensando es alguna solución es poner cámara por la ciudad de Trenton para ver exactamente de dónde está saliendo la basura, quién está sa sacando la basura y poniéndola en, el, en las casas o en la calle, donde sea. Y lo que lo que está diciendo es que él vive o oh, está trabajando en Filadelfia y en muchos sitios donde están botando o poniendo mucha de la basura se ve en cámara. But um, also what he was saying, I know that the city of Trenton does have cameras throughout the city. So I'm okay. not sure if they can work with maybe the police department or city hall and see exactly what's going on and where it's, yeah. where it's coming from. Lo que está diciendo es que yo sé que la ciudad tiene cámaras sobre la ciudad en diferentes partes. Maybe se, por, se puede trabajar con la policía o con la ciudad o con el alcalde o quien sea para tratar de ver si... Eso pueden trabajar juntos y arreglar el problema. Um, Fred, I am very familiar with um, New Jersey Clean Communities um, because they give out grants to every municipality across the state. Um, I That used to be my responsibility in the township of Irvington. Uh, so I'm very well-versed with that. Um, and when Luis was um, the public works director here, they worked with them in the city of Trenton. So it would have to be us trying to figure out now who are the coordinators at the municipal level to try to maybe do a cleanup day and do some kind of outreach in that manner. Lo que ella está diciendo es que ella ha trabajado con diferentes organizaciones y la, con la ciudad y lo que ella quiere que, lo que la información que ella necesita saber es en qué nivel municipal o quién tiene quién está trabajando en el, en el municipal para saber exactamente qué se puede hacer quién no puede dar acceso a las cámaras o qué se puede hacer para usarlas thank you and um, Ray Ingram and uh, Kelly Ingram are on board with us this evening as well. And they are the co-presidents of the um, Cat Walter Heights Civic Association. And they work very closely with Mayor Rico Ciara and, and have been working with the city for many, many years to improve uh, the relations between the residents and the municipalities and also to get the um, the areas cleaned up and, and help really just mitigate a lot of the problems uh, that the city of Trenton has had. Go ahead, Francis. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> what were the names again? Uh, Ray and Kelly Ingram. Okay. Lo que ella está diciendo es Ray and Kelly Ingram, ellos trabajan mucho con el abogado, bien cerca con el abogado, para ver exactamente lo que está pasando en la comunidad, lo que se puede hacer en la comunidad, para tratar de arreglar muchos de los problemas que están pasando. Thank you. And 
Ray said that there are cameras in Trenton. Que son cameras in Trenton. But they need the guidance as to where the mobile camera should be placed. So la ciudad necesito saber dónde está, dónde lo pone los cameras para ayudar a la gente. So what I'm going to ask is that in the comments, in the chats, if you have any suggestions as to where the cameras should be placed, put it in there, please. Put it in the chat. Okay. Lo que ella está pidiendo es que si pueden escribir diferentes sitios en la comunidad o en la ciudad donde ellos, donde ustedes sienten que es importante tener una cámara para ver exactamente de dónde está saliendo la contaminación en la comunidad. Thank you. And, may I, um, may yeah, I lift okay. another, uh, I'd like to lift up uh, the issue of uh, vacant houses. Um, and uh, what I heard last week, the mayor said that there is actually funding available um, to either renovate them if they're worth renovating so that the housing stock increases or they, they'll be knocked down. Um, I'll let Francis, and then I'll say one more thing. Francis? Una preocupación son las casas que están abandonadas en la ciudad porque Ahí es donde muchas personas ponen la basura o tiran la basura porque no hay nadie ahí. So, lo, que, lo que se tiene que hacer es saber exactamente lo que se puede hacer para eliminar este problema. In this meeting where the mayor spoke, he asked the clergy, because it was an interfaith gathering of clergy, to give him addresses of houses. So everyone on this Zoom call that happens to know of a house uh, the address of a house that you recommend that should be knocked down or be renovated, um, please share that in the chat. Lo que Karen está diciendo es que ella tuvo un reunión, una reunión con el alcalde y, y hablaron sobre las casas que están abandonadas o si hay casas que se pueden arreglar. Lo que ella está pidiendo es si pueden poner direcciones de casas que ustedes sienten que se tienen que tumbar, que es un problema para la comunidad o, una, o alguna casa que se puede arreglar para ayudar a la ciudad. Pero por favor, pon la dirección en, en el chat. And they can also send me an email. And I'll put my email in the chat as well. Um, and we can uh, get a running list going and send it in as well. Okay. O también le pueden mandar la información por correo electrónico a ella y lo que ella va a hacer es te, le va a poner el correo electrónico aquí para que pueda mandarle la información. And everything, uh, is, thank you. And everything is confidential if you would y like todo to es con, Y todo lo que le mande a ella es con, confidencial. Thank you. Um, so I just want to uh, state that Ray, Ray um, ha, and Kelly have committed to getting us in contact with uh, a person by the name of Nia and city in the city to carry out um, some neighborhood cleanups. Ella está diciendo que, what was it, Ray you said? Ray and Kelly. Mm -hmm. Ray and Kelly. Le, están tratando, le van a tratar de comunicarse con alguien de la comunidad que se llama Mía para tratar de trabajar juntos y hacer por lo menos unos días para limpiar la comunidad. Thank you. Thank you, Ray and Kelly. And they also said that the Trenton Civic Associate, Trenton Council of Civic Associations can also help advocate and set up things for neighborhoods. Okay, so lo que ella estaba diciendo es que the Neighborhood Improvement Association es un grupo que están dedicado para ayudar a la comunidad y con ellos se pueden también buscar la asistencia. Thank you. And he is going to connect with Laura after this meeting to help them identify specific areas. Y después de la reunión va a hablar con Laura para, para, para dar la información sobre 
algunos sitios que, que necesitan más asistencia en la comunidad que son importantes para arreglar. And then I, I just want to say that um, my heart is just so overjoyed right now because the level of support that we're receiving um, from our, our communities and allies, right? In our communities for the Latino um, communities in particular um, is, has made me feel just so, so blessed to be hosting this event. Um, we all must work together to get them to improve our communities. Lo que Aubrey está diciendo es que ella tiene el corazón lleno de alegría porque le están dando mucha asistencia y ven la, la importancia de arreglar estos problemas que están en la comunidad. Thank you. And I also believe that, and um, I've mentioned this before, and Fred and I have discussions about this, um, because as a Latina and a woman of color, um, it is very important that my voice is heard and that I help to uplift other people's voices in my communities of color as well. So, una de las yeah. pasiones de ella, ella dice que estaba hablando con Fred y una de las pasiones de ella, que ella es latina y también es una mujer de color y ella siente que la voz de ella necesita, ella necesita la voz de ella que se oiga, especialmente para hacer las diferencias que ella quiere hacer en la comunidad. Gracias, oh, Francis. And I know for a fact, when we work together, we see better results. Ella sabe que si nosotros trabajamos juntos, los resultados son mucho mejor. Thank you. So, who else here? I think that we've we're getting this thing rolling, and and it's already seven eighteen, and and I'm excited because we've gotten a lot out already. Um, what else do we stand in need of? Lo que ella está diciendo es que ella está feliz que por lo menos ahora mucha de la información está saliendo y estamos comunicando con uno al otro para, para expresar lo, la, los problemas. Y ella quiere saber si alguna otra persona tiene, alguna, tiene algún problema o alguna pregunta. So I don't, I don't have any problems. <laughs> no, yes, I have a lot of problems, but well, life is like that. Uh, I will try to help as much I can because my time is always very busy, but uh, this is a, a point that we had to put it out as soon as possible, uh, like I said before, uh, I will contact uh, Pastor Karen. The, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I will try to bring more people. And um, I know it's a lot of people that invited today in the last minute, but uh, I will try to, to encourage more people to participate. And like um, you say, it's, if we, work together, we can do better. And poverty is not dirty. It's poverty that not means you have to be abandoned or dirty or anything. Poverty, it doesn't mean that you can succeed if you are poor too. Mm -hmm. so thank Laura, you. Laura está diciendo que ella va a hacer lo más posible para asistir con este programa y asistir con las cosas que están pasando en la comunidad, porque ella siempre está ocupada, pero ella va a hacer lo más posible para asistir en esto. Y dice que las personas que son pobres no pueden seguir adelante. Eso no le pone un par a, a las cosas que está pasando o las cosas que ellos pueden hacer en el futuro. Sino las cosas, ella siente que las cosas tienen que empezar 
para arreglar las cosas desde ahora. Thank you, Francis. Um, Ray put a number in the chat. He said, more ways to connect us, all areas of Trenton together. And the number is 609-462-2932. Ray puso en los comentarios que hay un número de teléfono para conectar todas las áreas en Trenton juntos y el número es 609 4-C-2-2-9-3-2. Thank you. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pick a name over here. David Matthew. Matt, David Matt, are you there? Okay. Um, let's see. I love this name. Bring joy. And then it's next to everyone. So bring joy to everyone. <laughs> Are you on? I'm calling out names because I like to see if anyone else has any comments or questions as we're approaching the 7.30 hour. Prince. Um, bring joy. Uh, hi, Evelyn. Uh, bring joy. Do you have anything that you would like to contribute to this uh, dialogue? Hi, Prince. <laughs> Ella le está pidiendo diferentes personas y diciendo diferentes nombres para, para que hablen un poco, para que puedan poner lo que ellos quieren contribuir a esa reunión. Prince said none for now, and the number that I read off was Kelly's number. Um, I'm going to call on Miss Kelly Ingram uh, to make some comments. Kelly, you there? All right, can you hear me? I'm on Ray's computer. Cause we, yes. couldn't have, we couldn't have the two going on because it would have been reverberation. Mm -hmm. This is what we need to do frequently. I mean, to learn about the acid pink and how upstream affects us is really important. And, but also bringing out these other issues in our city. Um, this is what we need to do often. And it's not the bigger groups, it's the smaller groups. And then we keep bubbling up and, and um, among us, we always have some kind of connection to get a solution. So- Remember that it's going to be translated. Oh, sorry, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> lo que ya le preocupa es todo lo que está pasando, especialmente con el riachuelo de the creek, the creek, the Assapin Creek, que es un riachuelo. Um, especialmente porque eso une a muchas de las comunidades. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Frank. Or Kelly, I'm sorry. So, I, if we could have an email group with this so that we can stay connected. I mean, with, with uh, being involved with I Am Trenton Community Foundation, you know, I think Karen, Pastor Karen can attest to, This is how we keep growing our, our better community. Uh, Lo que ella pide es que nosotros unamos para que nos unamos juntos para hacer un grupo de correo electrónico. Ella es parte de una comunidad en Trenton y es para hacer cosas mejor para Trenton. Y ella siente que si nosotros ponemos todos los esfuerzos y ponemos toda la información necesaria, podemos empezar por lo menos a arreglar algunas cosas poco a poco. Thank you, Francis. Thank you so much, Kelly and Ray. Um, I have uh, we, oh, one more quick thing. Okay, uh, yeah, sorry. It's, it's not a plug for I Am Trenton Community Foundation. It, it's a plug for the city. If there are people doing great things in the city and need some small grant funding, we can come into communities and talk about how we do that because it really is about Um, what you're doing, Aubrey and um, Mr. Stein and Karen. And then locally, 
like Laura, I think Laura with Laldev knows about I Am Trenton Grant. It really can help strengthen our communities to really um, create sol solutions and have Hold a bigger. Hold on one second, Kelly. <laughs> Lo que ella está diciendo es que hay una fundación que yo estoy, que se llama I Am Trenton, yo, yo soy Trenton, y que ellos pueden asistir diferente, en diferentes maneras, especialmente subsidios que pueden ofrecer para grupos que están tratando de hacer diferencias en la comunidad. Thank you. Kelly, I would like to uh, sit with you, me, Fred, and Pastor Karen, so that we can look at some of the ways that we can help the Latino community and maybe write something uh, together so that we can get them funded so that they could get the help that they need. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do I that. I appreciate it. And then I have, uh, thank you, Fred, for, uh, for picking up that Nikki from EPA is on line with us. And Nikki and Jamila, um, and even Kathleen Bell have uh, been in attendance in these uh, listening sessions and uh, from DEP and EPA, and we really, really appreciate them. Nikki, um, you know, I'm good for putting people on the spot. Can you say something? <laughs> sure, yeah, thank you. Thank you all so much for having me. Uh, we were really attending just to make sure that we are listening to the community. We've also been sitting in on the East Trenton Collaborative meetings every, every month or a couple of times a month just to make sure that we are staying up to date with community needs and providing as much assistance as we can at the federal and state levels. Thank you, ella, Nikki. Nikki <laughs> dice que, está, que ella es parte de esta, esta reunión para saber exactamente lo que está pasando a la comunidad. Ella también está en, con la colaboración de la parte de este de Trenton y ella está oyendo todo lo que está pasando allá para ver exactamente lo que se puede hacer para hacer una diferencia y mejorar la comunidad. Uh, thank you, Francis. Uh, Nikki, um, I would like for us to also meet so that we, with Pastor Karen, myself, uh, Kelly and Ray and Fred, so that we can discuss um, how we can bring more awareness of what the DEP and the EPA are doing in our communities and um, how to get some real action. Because you see, the city can't do everything on its own, right? Definitely. It's partnerships mm -hmm. and collaborations like this. Look, Robert está diciendo es que ella quiere sentarse con Nikki para de, para hablar más sobre lo que está pasando en la comunidad y para poder dar la información a la comunidad que es necesaria para arreglar muchos de los problemas, muchas de las cosas que está pasando que no es bueno para la comunidad. Thank you. And one thing off the top of my head that I think um, getting back to the I Am Trenton grant is getting some information and publications and best practices put in Spanish and in our other highly dominant communities of uh, color so that they can know what's going on. Um, I like to see that happen like soon. Um, lo, lo que Aubrey mm -hmm. está pidiendo es que mucha de la información que le están dando a la comunidad sobre la información, sobre la fundación de I Am Trenton, yo soy Trenton, ella está pidiendo que den mucha de más de información en el lenguaje de español o otro lenguaje que es necesario especialmente para, para que la comunidad tenga la información y sepa exactamente lo que están ofreciendo para la comunidad. Thank you, Francis. Um, Fred, my, my dear brother. <laughs> This is a ministry for me and Fred. <laughs> uh, Fred, let's, let's, get, let's get some final thoughts from you. Um. The, the only I, I was thinking that um, just a positive story about the city of Trenton and uh, we had the opportunity through this upstream downstream to go out with the remember you uh, gotta keep it slow for Francis uh, right. <laughs> lo que él está diciendo es que quiere hablar sobre una historia positiva en la comunidad go ahead Fred we, we met there, there are I guess there are very good people, staff people in Trenton, city employees doing a lot of great work. 
to él dice que hay, mucha, oh, perdón, que hay muchas personas que son parte de que trabaja con la, la ciudad de Trenton o que son parte de la ciudad de Trenton que están haciendo muchas cosas buenas para la comunidad. The, and what and we could go into more detail, but they, you know, the problems are big because city the city is old and a lot of industry was there located there and there's a lot of a lot of problems but there's a lot of good people doing working and trying to find solutions too and i'm thinking of jr um thank you give the hurt the hurt yeah <laughs> el, el, el está diciendo que hay muchos problemas en la ciudad de trenton porque trenton es una ciudad que ya tiene muchos años y vieja puedes decir y hay muchas cosas que se pueden hacer para arreglar los problemas pero hay que trabajar jun trabajar juntos para hacer para hacer planes para arreglar estos problemas y trabajar mano en mano. Y. Go ahead. Back to you, Frank. That, 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 <laughs> that was my point. That was my point. I did. I did. I just wanted to make sure that there's a, a positive too, because there is positive. Él está, está diciendo que hay mucho positivo y lo que, lo que se me olvidó decir antes, él dijo que hay muchas personas que son buenas y están ayudando mucho para hacer nuestra comunidad y la ciudad de Trenton mejor. And I will piggy, I will add to what Fred said because my late husband was the public works director for the city of Trenton for some time. And he worked with a tremendous staff of dedicated employees and having 20 plus years in public works experience myself, I know it takes a partnership between the residents and the city to make a difference. Lo que Arby está diciendo es que ella está hablando sobre lo mismo que, con, que estaba hablando Fred, que el esposo, que en paz descanse. Sí, él, sí. él, un momentito, ok. Él trabajó muchos años en la ciudad de Trenton y trabajó con muchas personas maravillosas y dedicadas a la ciudad de Trenton para hacer diferencia en la ciudad. Thank you. Y que junto con la ciudad y la residencia es la mam, es la la, la es, mejor manera la, de hacer diferencia. Yes, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. I know what you meant. <laughs> thank you. I hope everybody else does too. <laughs> Pass the Karen your final thoughts and then we're going to close out. I'm going to do a rally call. Uh, la gente unida jamás será vencida. The people united will never be overcome. Amen. And I just like that every, I would like to ask that everyone please keep, um, our beloved pastor from the Assemblies of God lifted up in prayer. Pastor Karen, say his name again, please. Uh, pastor Luis Montero, the Apostolic Church. Thank you very much. My apologies. Please That's okay. Him lifted up in Gracias prayer. por sus oraciones para el Pastor Luis Montero de la Iglesia Apostolica. Thank you. And also to the the Latino community and all of the nation with what we just went through with um, in the state of Texas with yeah. the mass shooting um, and Buffalo and just everybody that's grieving uh, right now. I just ask that we just, you know, um, that we do the responsible thing, not just to keep them in thoughts and prayers, but do the responsible thing to make a difference, right? Yep. So with that being said, I really Hold appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> Lo que ella está pidiendo es oraciones también para la comunidad en Buffalo, New York, y también en Texas con todo lo que está pasando. Y ella dice que ella quiere que nosotros rez que le, que rezamos por ellos, pero también debemos hacer lo que es bien, especialmente enseñándole a los niños y a todo el mundo lo que hay que hacer. Thank you, Francis. Francis, you have been tremendous. I wish thank you. I wish I could walk with you everywhere. <laughs> you just, 
<laughs> but I know that I have to improve my Spanish because my ancestors are whispering, we are not pleased. <laughs> I had no choice. My mom, made, my mom taught me Spanish first and said, oh, don't worry, you're going to learn English in school. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really the way to do things. Um, so with that said, everyone's time has been precious. I thank you, whether you, whether you sat and listened or made a comment, you are greatly appreciated. Pastor Karen, I cannot thank you enough. Ray and Kelly, I cannot thank you enough. Uh, Nikki and Francis and everyone here, Laura, please thank you so much for your support. Um, blessings to all of you and have an outstanding evening. Good night. Aubrey dice que gracias a todo el mundo por, ven, por participar y ser parte de esta reunión, que ella quiere que todo el mundo tenga una buena noche y muchas gracias por todo. Thank you. Amén. Good night. Good night. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Bye-bye, everybody.